Hello everyone and welcome to your Saturday night. I am your Saturday night and we are here for a little bit of painting on a whole lot of fun. And I do mean a whole lot of fun. I have captions on should you need them, if you want them. They are there, they are available. Do not want to make <laughs> do not want to make the mistake of not having that here for you. So a little shake of the brushes. A little shake, shake, shake of the brushes. <laughs> so, we are here for your Saturday night. I am your Saturday night. And what are we doing tonight? We are painting. Oh, I love painting. And we are here in my studio and library space where almost all of my uh, live streams come from. That's just the way it is. Almost all my live streams come from here. And it's a great place to be. So... <clears throat> You're going to notice somewhere, either in the chat or in the description of the video, depending on where you're joining me, a link to my website. And I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to put a little something in that chat also here. So, depending on where you're joining me, you are going to see a word. And in case you're wondering what that word is for... That word is actually to let you know a discount code. Now, why do you need to know a discount code? And what is it for? Well, it's for World Art Day. And where do you use that discount code? You use that on my website, which the link is, again, either in the description or in the chat, depending on where you're joining me. But let's move forward. What are we doing today? We are painting. Oh, and I love painting. I just did a bunch of it earlier because today is, of course, the day for my art workshop. I do one every month, and I'm looking at doing more of them, and I'd really love to know who out there uh, would be interested in more art workshops. Who out there would like to attend an art workshop? Is that something that interests you? Is that something you'd like to do? Put it in the chat, put it in the comments, wherever you are. Make it known. But I think it would be great to have you all join me for my art workshops. They are abstract art workshops, and obviously I do a lot of different kinds of art. If this is the first time you're seeing me, you know, you're going to get to see one kind of art I do. But there's a bunch of different kinds of art I do. A bunch. Case in point, the song for today's intro, uh, Wob Wob, is actually my song. I make electronic music. That's one thing I do. I also do abstract art. I paint. Um, I draw. I do a lot of kind of realistic portraiture and other things. I make films and videos. and I do so many different things. So check it out. Join us at, at one of the many different fun things I do. And of course, I'm an author. So there's a lot of possibilities to do a lot of fun things. So we have our wooden palette, we have our canvas board, we have everything set up. But what are we going to be doing today? Well, I'm going to be using some of these nice acrylic paints from a couple of different sets that I have. And we're going to be doing a portrait of sorts. Let me get my palette right out of the way. What I've already done is I've already done some sketching for some concepts for what the portrait's going to end up looking like. You know, you got to do a little bit of experimentation, and sometimes you need a plan. So earlier, <clears throat> during my workshop, that was abstract art. In my abstract artwork, you know, I don't come out with a plan usually, but when I do something like this, I try to have a plan ahead. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to get some paint, and we're just going to dive right into some things. So I'm actually going to be starting with some phthalo blue and we're going to begin with this little round brush here and I have some things that I want to do. I need to kind of just come right out of the gate and, and start putting in uh, details and all sorts of fun. 
I'm going to be going from standing to sitting to standing to sitting. But, you know, I think it's important when you're doing something like this to be comfortable in whatever way you can be. And you're probably wondering, like, why am I putting stuff in the background first? I, I thought you were doing a portrait. Well, I am. But I need to start establishing things like tone and, and all of that first. So that is why I am jumping right in here with uh, this phthalo blue. And I'm starting to get some things in here which I'm going to want. as we move along. One of the important things in a painting is kind of doing some establishing um, early on in regards to what you're doing. So I want to start building shadows, shape, lines, you know, all that kind of fun stuff. And the reason I'm using uh, this phthalo blue is because it has a very particular kind of um, tone to it that you can use to make some really nice um, kind of like pseudo black uh, shadow. And that's one of the things that I'm working on right now. Little pseudo black shadow. You know, just getting these early things in here. We have to get our details and our, our kind of... Um, Architecture. Architecture was a word I was using a lot today for uh, sketching when it comes to paint. And I actually think it's a really good word for a lot of this. Uh, because that's kind of what we're doing, is we're building the basis for what we'll build off of. We're building the basis of what we'll build off of. That sounded silly. But it's true. You know, you need to establish things like your boundaries and your shadows all ahead of time. So that is one thing I'm going to be doing first, as you see. Depending on where you're joining me, you know, make sure you're you're putting some stuff in the chat. Uh, say hello. Uh, let us know what you've been doing so far for your weekend. Let us know how you're doing. Let us know if you enjoy art. All right, so I got a few things in there already. You know, just little little things, little things. That's what that's what we have to start with. Every little thing counts. So I already have that phthalo blue up there, and the next thing I'm going to be doing is I need a slightly smaller round brush. And where is it? I'm going to be using uh, this amber brown because I like the way it looks. And again, I'm gonna be using that as I start to establish colors and shapes. Some of this is gonna be a bit messy as we go in and begin. But if it wasn't messy, I mean, where would the fun be? A lot of this is really just starting the obvious, which in the case of a portrait, the obvious are things like shadows, um, and not just shadows, but our, our, the basic shapes of our design. And there's a lot of that to get in early on. 
Uh, let me be fair, there's really like a whole lot of shadow that we need to start getting in early on. You don't always have to start with shadow, uh, but I do recommend that you kind of make those decisions. Are you going to start with your shadows first? Are you going to start with your highlights? You can really start almost anywhere you want. Um, and because you can start almost anywhere you want, you have a lot of freedom. You have a lot of freedom to make decisions that maybe you wouldn't normally make. So I'm going to be doing some of that now, making decisions, whether or not it's a decision I would normally make. But we really have to start building and blocking, building and blocking. And so we're going to do that. We're going to build, we're going to block. Build and block. Portrait painting, character painting, character design, these things, they're, they're not necessarily where I would recommend starting if you're starting with art. But there's a lot of inherent value in getting an early start uh, on understanding anatomy. need, where is it, I need some red, I'm going to use a, uh, a number eight flat brush to get this red on here, because I kind of have this um, concept that I want to build in, so the earlier I can get these reds in here, the better. That's what I'm doing. Putting in these reds, getting things really going. And kind of starting to build in what will be the scenery. going to be a lot of variance in this and I'm already planning for the variance but the one thing I do not want to do is really miss out on my chance to get a nice red base in here So that's what we're doing. I already know that this is going to take a lot of working through.
and that not everything is going to end up like perfect the first go. So we are going into this knowing that things are going to be interesting to say the least. Now, when it comes to our um, freedom with art, we really have a lot of freedom. And I mean a lot of freedom. There is so much that you just, there's no rules to. And because there are no hard and fast rules, you're given the, um, the ability to really do what you want. I mean, okay, there, there's rules with our... Um, I toss a lot of them out. I'm just like, no. No. And that's just the way I like to do it. Not going to put me in your little art pigeonhole. Got no room for that art pigeonhole. No room. We're using a combination of both vintage and uh, modern style acrylics in here. And I think it really gives it an all around more interesting look. We do have a lot to build up before we get to certain aspects. So I am going to be spending a little time getting there. Like a lot of my paintings um, I don't know necessarily how long this is going to take me, but actually, I should say, like a lot of my uh, character and portrait paintings, I don't know how long this is going to take me, but it's probably going to take me more than one uh, stream, more than one video. And that is, that's just that. That's just the way it's got to be. Now there are some things that are not going to look like superb when we first do them. Like all this hair is going to look a little weird for a while. 
until we start getting deeper into the artwork. Uh, but that's just the way it's going to be. That is just the way it's going to be. I have this nice, um, this nice vintage white, and I'm going to actually start using that to give myself a color base in some areas. This is more to make sure that I have paint down than anything else. You have to make sure that you are getting paint down everywhere that you think it's going to be incredibly necessary. And, you know, it's a painting, so we're going to get some paint on it. And that's what we're doing. We are getting some paint on our painting. I like that for now. All right. Now I have a gray, and one of the things I'm actually going to be doing with the gray, um, because that um, that phthalo blue is not going to be the final color of the outfit. but it is um, an important part of it right now. But I need to actually start getting in some of these grays here. So that is one thing I'm gonna start doing here. I'm gonna start getting in these grays uh, and we're just gonna keep building upward. I don't need a lot of this gray, but I do need to make sure I'm using an appropriate amount of it. Where it's going to be necessary. We're gonna build up in a lot of layers as we go. And some of this gray is actually going to not just sit as a means by which I can uh, build upward, but it's also going to be utilized in later stages for building kind of a natural set of uh, tones. Natural set of tones that we're gonna build up from. little tiny bits at a time, little tiny bits at a time. Building up our outfit, our shape, our person. So I think that's actually good on that for the time being. Oh. oh, that's the wrong color. That's okay. I have some stuff I gotta do with it.
a lot of what I'm doing, again, this is upward building. This is creating the base by which I get to express not just who this character is, but what they look like. I'm setting kind of a warm tone as some of our underlayer here. You know, just a really big necessary part of this whole thing. You have to set out tones. You have to come up with your schemes and, and your patterns and everything. can oftentimes be a lot of work figuring out certain aspects about people like what makes sense what's physically right definitely getting some really important areas here as far as what will be our final kind of tone and mood. All in all, it's going to take me a while. It's going to take me a while. It's going to be a bunch of work. And I think I'm going to be happy with most of it when it's done. At least I think so. I need a really tiny brush for a minute. to establish some areas that are going to be quite dark later on. You know, we're going to end up with a lot of dark spots. Part of my job right now is kind of finding those, getting them filled in. This tiny little brush is going to be really good for helping in the establishment. So one thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start with kind of brown colored lips. I want them to have a nice richness to them later when we come back through. And we're not going to fill in the whole lip right now, but we're going to part them like that. Open the mouth a little bit. Very good use of our tiny brush. Now I need a different tiny brush. I have this little bit of lamp black here. And maybe that's too much. A little bit of lamp black. Now 
Now, normally I don't use a lot of black in my pieces. I mean, I do use it, but with, uh, when you're painting people, black has a really weird uncanny effect. Like, it takes some of the reality out of your person. So I want to make sure that I'm using just enough. Just enough. So I, I already have a little bit of black there in the eyes. Just enough to get us started. Grab some of my brown. Now this is a semi translucent brown and I kind of need it in some of the spots with the hair. I just, it's just a part of building depth. So that's one of the things I'm doing right here is I'm starting to build some depth. This is a amber brown. Hey, Silver Fox, glad to have you joining. So I need to get there and there. I'm gonna get some of this amber brown in here because we we have. Oh my goodness! Oh oh goodness! Uh yeah. Yep, that's, that's a good way to put it. Oh. That's funny. <laughs> I think... Oh, goodness gracious. It's... This is only just the beginning. We're just, just getting started. Oh, goodness. All right, now I did. There, that's what I needed. I needed the thalo blue. Because we need to continue with some of this shadow blocking. I, um, whew. first thing you see, <laughs> oh God, it looks more dramatic than it really is because we're still doing blocking. <laughs> so like nothing here is proportional right now, but I have to put shadows and blocking in. When I start. Oh, God. Oh. Welcome to art. <laughs> oh, this. I'm your Saturday night, and here, here we have a blondie. Uh, good band, by the way. Exceptional band. So, <clears throat> I have more layering I'm going to be doing up here. So, now that some of that brown is dry, but not too dry, take some more of this. And one of the things, I already wonder, you know, um, it is very fun, isn't it? And I don't have a name yet. Uh, this was just... Like, let's, let's start painting. Let's get a person. And when it comes to, like, anatomy and everything, it's like, ooh, let's start there. Um, 
But I don't have a name yet. We will figure it out. Like one of the, the really fun things about these kinds of paintings or, or this type of painting is you have a lot of wiggle room uh, as you move. And I'm going to be doing what I can to find the character as I move forward. But I had like this wonderful image going of kind of like... You see like uh, bright kind of like ooh halos and I kind of wanted to do something more dramatic here with this really dark halo instead of like a light halo just like a really dark halo uh, behind this person. So that's one of the things that I'm building right here behind. I, I don't know exactly what color I'm going to go for directly behind the head. Um, so that's still up in the air. But there's going to be like a red halo there and going to put some really dark shadows in the background. Uh, I was trying to get sort of, I won't say like a fantasy, but so much as uh, a highly animated and stylized character design. I'm really enjoying the idea that, you know, you can go heavily, like really lean into super stylized and incredibly animated, animated. Need new paint? Yes. Um, it is actually going to have to be paint buying season. I will say these vintage paints, really good. I like them. But yeah, it's that it's that time of um, tired of using the same colors. No, I understand. I understand. You know, you just, you just like, oh, I want to try something else. want to try something else. Let some of that dry before I add any more. I need a small brush. I'm gonna get a really small brush. Isn't it nice? It is a really nice red. Yeah, and this is the Shuttle Art uh, acrylic uh, vintage red. It just, it has a lot of pop to it. It's really good. I like it. Oh, yes, that is a good point. You hold on one second, because I have those uh, right and ready. We're going to get that out there. No point in, in waiting on that. No, it's just, it's a really good point, so... Since you said it, I'm, I get space head sometimes. You know, it's like, okay, I need to do this. And then, <laughs> then I forget, right? Okay, there we go. And then. I 
should come right through. There we go. Wow, that's a long link, isn't it? That is a long link. <laughs> I need to see if I can get a shorter one. I gotta figure that out. I used to do be able to do like the, sh the little tiny quick links, but that tool is apparently no longer available. And I don't know why. Oh, yeah, that's something I'll have to have to look into a lot because really long links let's be fair who wants who wants to you click on that it just looks like alphabet soup doesn't it it's alphabet soup Now, I can use one of my small flat brushes here. So this is going to sound really random, but the idea, like, this outfit, I had an image in my head of, um, did you ever see the show or the movie, um, Buffy the Vampire Slayer? I had kind of like that, there's a jacket that she wears, and I'm like, that is a really cool jacket. So just a random in there, but I just really like it. Yes, Sarah, Sarah Michelle Gellar. I just really like uh, the jacket, and there's a version of it in the movie. I don't know about the show, maybe both. Either way, so she she wears um, a leather jacket over her uh, prom attire while she's <laughs> fighting vampires. And I just thought, you know, that's a wonderfully 80s thing to do. Um, and it's also very practical. Not really practical at all. But it looks cool. So I kind of wanted, like, that idea of jacket. So that's kind of what I've come up with as a, a visual style here. The idea, like, it's a leather jacket and all that. I, I don't know. I think it works. Maybe it doesn't. All right. <clears throat> so I have this medium yellow, and we're going to need that here. Uh, so medium yellow is going to go in to some of the areas to create kind of a warmth we want we want that kind of warmth and that kind of glow
there are a lot of uh, good paints on Amazon. And the ones um, which I'm using today, you know, those are right in the right in the store. Of course, uh, I, clearly I have one specific person to thank for for the vintage ones. Um, just one particular person to thank for those amazing vintage paints. And they are absolutely awesome. Oh, I like that. So you want paint for Mother's Day. Mm, that is a great, great Mother's Day gift. I like that. Yeah, realistically, this is going to be a couple of um, a couple of videos to paint this. It is also so warm right now. It is eighty degrees outside. Um, eighty degrees outside. Which that's just like woof. color blocking uh, there's areas I just want to feel really warm so that's one of the things I'm working on right now is getting that warmth in there Anywhere I can put some highlight zones before they're needed is really going to benefit later on down the line. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, goodness, yeah. You know, you get... I don't know, maybe that's not how he uses it. That's... Just grab it. It's very useful. Um, and they do have stands that are built for these. I'm going to be fair. Most of the time, I have mine sitting next to me. Um, unless it's like quick switching i love them but there is one good thing because you can stabilize it uh no other way oh oh i have never paid attention to how oh oh that makes sense that makes so much more sense Learn something very interesting and new, and I feel a tad bit silly. Oh, goodness. Wow. All right. All right, I'm going to watch some Bob Ross later, and I'm going to see exactly how he does that, but oh my goodness, do I feel silly that I've never thought of using it that way. I feel very silly. And, um, yeah. Yeah. Oh, goodness.
goodness. You know, we all have our moments. That apparently was mine. Fill your, fill your entire life and you never even think about it. <sighs> all right. So I'm going to take some white. Um, this just makes sense to me right now, so I'm actually going to kind of just lay some white into this background since I still don't know what color I'm going to do it. But I'd really like something on there. It is an off-white, but it looks nice. I like it. Bear with me while I... I do feel really silly right now. Like, what in the world? But I'm going to be fair. Like, I don't think a single art class I ever took, anyone showed me how to hold that. Ever. That I remember. Get some paint down here. We're going to have some really strong shadows in this, which is just going to be good all around. Uh, I like strong shadows. I like multi-layered paintings. So it, putting this white over top of these colors that I've already laid down over here, it's just going to start to mute some of those really really dark colors kind of pull that down a bit they're still going to stick out they're still going to be there but they're not going to be nearly as intense they're not going to be as strong as they were and because they won't be as strong they're going to give us a really good base for shadowing and that, that's just going to work out well. I've got to let some of that settle. All right. Having a moment where I'm forgetting the color I was just about to grab. Need a little bit more gray. I'm going to be using a small brush with the gray. Now what I'm actually going to do here is the gray is going to go up here in the face. As a preparation for shadow areas. need certain spots to be prepped ahead of time. Don't want too much. Well, we're getting all that in there. Hey, Spring, how you doing? Yeah, we just got some painting going on. It's a wonderful day for it, as it is World Art Day. Which worked out wonderfully, considering I had 
my art workshop today. Building in some shadow. Awesome. Well, wow. glad to see you here. All right. Do you have a lot of shadow building here to do still? Building shadows in a painting and taking your time to really make sure you're getting everything covered but also accounting for all the light variants so difficult oh yeah that thing is really cool um there's a few other really cool things and i'm going to be having some more stuff coming out you know little bits actually that reminds me For World Art Day, uh, depending on where you're joining me, you might see a link either in the description of the video or in the chat. Uh, but for World Art Day, I have a special little code for a discount on my website, 15% off with the wor word world uh, in, the, in the box at checkout. Sometimes I can find the exact brush I'm looking for, and sometimes I'm just like, what in, What am I even looking for? I don't even know what I'm looking for here. I'm lost and confused. That happens. But I was looking for my cobalt blue. Just need a little bit. Cobalt blue. Just a little bit. going to do a little bit of rim coming up around this red halo and this cobalt blue. This is going to look really good with that fallow blue. There is still so much to do. So much to do. So much to see. So much to experience. But we're going to get it all. It's going to be amazing. Now, even though the hair is really light, I'm going to take this really small flat brush right now and just putting some of that in there uh, in anticipation for when I need shadows. Now, doing this, this is um, raw umber. This raw umber looks really good in here. And uh, I'm starting to build the coming shadows. A lot of, a lot of what ends up needing to be done in art is just that, continuously building up, adding, We have a bunch of spots on here which are going to need later emphasis. And there we go. Get those started. Yeah, this is going to be uh, probably a couple videos to finish this painting, but 
consider that not bad. As it is, I've already been on, I've been on camera for four hours today. Oh my goodness, four hours. For some streamers, that's not a, that's nothing. But you know, I, that's a long day for me. That's a long day. So I had three hours for the workshop. I've been on here for about an hour. Oop, that's not right. That's okay. We're not done anyway. I'm just starting to add some things in though. Uh, just preparing, preparing, preparing. You have to prepare uh, no matter what kind of art you're doing. Just prepare. Prepare. You have a lot to accomplish. And I gotta make those really dark for a little bit. And now some of that is just so that there's going to be additional shadow once I get to the rest of the skin and the eyebrow. So <clears throat> I'm making those brow ridges really strong right now. And that's going to lead in later uh, for when I put some shadow in as well as complete the nose. So a lot of it looks really messy right now, but that's all part of the process. It's a long process, but it's a fulfilling process. That is a always and forever type deal with painting. It is fulfilling. I get so much enjoyment out of doing this. And I get tons of enjoyment being able to share it with all of you. Now this character still does not have a name. Uh, doesn't really have a story. It's not like some other pieces I do where there's a distinct story, a uh, distinct kind of vibe. This was literally just, I want to draw a person. I have an image in my mind that I kind of want to work with, and let's make it happen. So this is what we're ending up with so far. But that's a lot of the fun in art and creativity. Now right now I'm actually just adding some white to this. Uh, one of the big reasons is again to reduce the strength of some of the colors that are there, but also to start giving a surface to continue building up on. You know, I have so many different characters from my books, uh, from my art, and oftentimes I just think, you know, how can I do these creations justice? But I don't think it's as simple as that. I don't just need to do them justice. I need to... Find their story. There's a lot of stories here. Oh. Portrait painting though, and character painting, it is a long process. Okay, need a little tiny brush. And I'm going to be getting a very particular green here. Now the green I'm using is, well, it's Viridian. So we're going to get this Viridian. And I'm going to take this Viridian with a tiny little brush. And this Viridian is actually going to go as 
some early color in the eye. Just starting to fill in some missing information. Missing information. I'm not going to add any more Viridian for now, but I just did a little bit there, and that is actually going to go a really long way to getting us where we're going. So the next color I need here is actually light apricot. transformation is going to begin to take place as I get this on the face. Hopefully you're able to see that transformation in real time. Just a little bit of it this is uh, semi-transparent, so we're not going to lose everything that's underneath. But it's also not going to leave everything as dark as it started off. It's going to be a dozen more steps before we get to where we're going. But <clears throat> just that little application combined with the colors that were already there. It's already making that world of difference that I was making mention of. Real-time transformation. This is definitely what I call some real-time transformation. Oh, there we go. Now, all those shadows that I had previously put in on the skin, they are still visible. They are still there. We're going to add more to them uh, later. But there's now some skin on the face. There's some skin to the body. 
need to really delicately get some of this in on here because that's our neck. Step by step, bit by bit, we are getting there. It is hot in here. That I've gone through and done all of that and darkened the hair in. I'm actually going to go ahead put some more yellow over top of it. You know, we're going to be we're going to be at this for a while. But each detail and each step matters a great deal. Whew. Getting warm in here. My goodness. All right. I need some more of my phthalo blue. Every time I look at some of these outer edges, I'm just like, I don't like that. I can see too much of the canvas. I can see too much of the canvas, and I don't like it. We're going to get rid of that canvas. So I don't have to look at it anymore. Get rid of that canvas. I'm not going to look at that canvas anymore. And of course it goes without saying. Sure, I can still see a lot of the canvas coming through. But that's already uh, worlds better than it was. Worlds better. Now, our red is really flat. And because our red is really flat, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to darken in some portions of it. Get my brush. I want to add a little bit more to the red. And I'll start here. Early on, it doesn't matter if I cover up some things that I've done. So if I paint over, it's fine. What isn't fine is if you know, this just looks like a mess. There's a difference between looking like a mess as in, uh, you know, just not right, and looking as a, in a, a little bit of that, uh, words. I have been stumbling over my words all day. Stumble, stumble, stumble. But yeah, we need more of the red in here. So I'm going to talk again a little bit about some of the ideas that I had that kind of informed where we ended up with this. 
So, idea one, uh, I was thinking about the jacket um, from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. So I kind of did something like that for our character. But I was also kind of thinking about those pictures of like uh, saints and things like that and then like medieval paintings where you would often have people depicted with halos. So that halo is what became the red halo that we have here. At least that idea is what became the red halo. And we kind of got some of the outfit. This is already looking a lot better. There's um, a dozen things to do. A dozen and a half. A dozen and three quarters. But we've come a long way. Now I'm going to get nice big brush uh, I'm just putting some of this dark in here I want to do it with my big brush because I want to make sure I'm getting good coverage Start to put that in there. There we go. Really put some emphasis on what is eventually going to be some really nice multi-tonal leather. Like these leather sleeves. So I actually think that's a good start for that. Getting these multi leather sleeves and now some of this texture in here you know, just more and more more and more Just a huge difference. Each thing is really, really hitting in the ways that I hoped it would. Again, building our shadows, building our design, getting to where we should be. It's all just going to take time. But considering where we started, I, I think this is pretty good so far. You know, you start with some sketches, some quick lines on a canvas, and you add bit by bit, more and more. And um, 
with each extra bit, you know, there's more to the visual. There's more to the design. Thank you so much. We're really getting a lot of multi-textural light now, and there's just more and more um, vividness, and I'm starting to really develop what will be the earliest uh, signs that this is like some sort of leather jacket uh, with kind of like this really nifty um, collar piece to it. Like, this is, like, some nice... It's it's pretty fashionable. Very fashionable. Uh, there's a lot of shadow here. There's a lot of skin tone that's been put in. Uh, we still need more facial details. Uh, we still need more hair details. But at this current point in time, as a midway point for a piece of art, I, I really think this is good. This is really fun. Oh, I'm just going to go ahead and grab a little bit of this distress in here. Little bits of distress. I can already see a lot of the stuff that I know I'm going to have to fix as I move forward. Uh, I can see places where I really need to start putting in the shadows, the depth. But as far as like the leather jacket's early distress and early shaping were really good. As long as, as far as like the architecture we're going to use for the hair and the face and the background, I think we're in a really nice spot. So, <clears throat> what I'm going to do Oh, look at that. Cool. I can pin that right there. Okay, so there's <laughs> this, this will be the last time I tell you about it today, but uh, you are going to see Uh, in yeah so you're gonna see pinned in, in the chat uh, where if you're on twitch or it's gonna be in the chat or description of the video depending on where you are there's a pinned comment and you should check it out uh, so for world art day and this lasts for the next seven days there is a special code that you can use at checkout on my website and that code is WORLD, all capitals, uh, for 15% off on checkout. Go over there. Um, I have art bags. I have pencil bags, brush bags. There are shirts and merch. Uh, there's also, of course, my original artwork and art prints that are available for sale. Uh, I also have a couple cool sets of like uh, leggings, which are really fun. And they're just my own patterns and designs. So check those out if you get something that would be amazing if you don't that's great i mean you've been here and i appreciate you being here but we're gonna go ahead i'm going to be calling it a day uh, because i'm very hot it has been a wonderful and amazing saturday and a long saturday <laughs> so i'm gonna wish you the best i'm gonna throw on uh, my little my little video that I, I put together uh, it's just gonna lead us out for the day otherwise be excellent take care thank you for being here and you are absolutely awesome I'll see you all again real soon bye everybody <laughs>